another Buhay Arquitecto. This time, it's an ocular inspection wherein the construction of a building has just started. Welcome to my channel, The Kitty Pits! We delivered the plans for the building permit. Also, sabay na din ang site inspection. Medyo nagmamadali ang owner kaya nag-start na agad ang construction. The architect checks the plans, putting column, foundation, in place rebars to see if this is done as per plan before the concrete flooring. Visually check bar diameter and shape if bent. Spacing, embedment, all must be as detailed in the structure of plans. It is also best if rebars are not rusty or kinakalawang. Discuss also the natural ground line and on-fill necessary for the structure. Dito, kinoconsider kung bumabaha ang lugar at kung may height limitation ang area. Um, may baba tayo ng... Yan. Uh, natural to. 3GM. Natural big line at 30. Tapos, ano, 20 by 40 tayo. Nasaan ba natural grade line natin? Uh, mas... Sa level po na yun, mas pababa pa ng mga 50. Uh, 50. Tapos, ano bang balak ninyo? From the street level, ilan angat natin? Uh, yun nga po yung gusto rin malaman ni Sir. Mas dyan. Uh, itanong ko daw sa inyo. Yun, ano yung, parang napag-usapan niyo po yata nung una, parang tataas lang ng konti. Oo. Sa dati. Hindi ba bumabaha dyan? Ay, hindi naman. Hindi naman. Mabuti siguro kung, kung tumaas tayo mula dun sa ano, kahit mga 50, kaya nyo bang i-slope natin ng pag-ina? Kung para dito sa grab, kasi ito mataas. Kasi mataas po, kasi maiksi lang po yung ano eh. Ay, rampa. Rebars should be tied, not welded, to avoid any structural issues or stress fractures in your finished project. Lastly, make sure to have a first aid kit on your car in case of accidental wound on site. Just like in this video, I accidentally got wounded with a cutter, so I'm holding my hand to stop the bleeding faster. That's all for now. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.